Well, there you are. Hi there. Uh, today uh, we're having our an inaugural uh, inaugural cigar smoke. Uh, three guys and a stogie. Is that what we're calling our show? There we go. Three guys and a stogie. Get used to this because uh, we're actually on the job. We have jobs and this Hello? is our break time. We're just going to come on and, and do a little cigar show. White this drugs. is uh, Keith Johnson. I'm Pasquale Michelli. And the guy on the phone is uh, Dan Apodaca. No, we're from Denver. Uh, today we're going to yeah. smoke some I, Fuente I, Opus X. Um, these ones are uh, called uh, Chateau Fuente Rare Estate Reserve 1992. Robustos. Robusto size. So these are uh, five and a quarter inch long, 50 ring uh, Dominican wrapper, binder, and filler. And it's a full body cigar. Okay, so here's a close up of the box. We're opening it up fresh. Wrapper. Humor pack. Looks good. Humor Arctino pack. Fuente Opus X quality. Nice and moist still. These, like I said, have been in my uh, humidor for probably five or six months. Um, we thought we'd bring out some nice fresh ones, and all three of us are gonna gonna smoke these bad boys. Cigar's nice. Uh, nice veins in the cigar. Held together well, nice cap. We're gonna go ahead and cut it and uh, light it up and see what it uh, tastes like. Looks like it's got a triple triple cap on it. Um, feels real nice too, a little oily maybe. Let's see here. He's using a. We're using a lighter made burner. by Vector, I believe. With uh, electronic ignition on it, it's also uh, can burn you if you're not real careful. Real dangerous lighter. Real dangerous lighter. I'm gonna just warm up the tip a little bit here. Very nice tasting. I'm gonna wait till you get done doing all that. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Lots of smoke. Give her a little twist. Mmm. Very nice. First initial draw. Lots of nice smoke. Tasty. Mmm. You know, I took a little time there to kind of taste that, and it uh, does have a nice. Of course, it runs out of fuel when I need nice it. Spark. Yeah, it's got a great, uh, great flavor. Right it's off like the bat. a key cigar in light. We're getting You know, I'm tasting here. a little sweetness on the actual wrapper. Do you guys taste that? That's the best part of the cigar is the wrapper. Like they almost top. I don't think they dipped it or nothing, but maybe the person who rolled these had a little bit of uh, cherry cobbler or something. <laughs> 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 who knows? <laughs> Could be. I don't know, I'm still waiting on that. Still waiting for your back. first taste, huh? <laughs> All right, we got the lighter back filled up. It's burning, it's a nice blowtorch. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I see that taste you're talking about. You taste Open that sex, little, good, good brand. Kind of a little sweetness on the wrap or on the cap or something there. So these cigars are, uh, what do they cost about in the cigar shops, 30 to 35 bucks a piece. Uh, pretty expensive deal. Uh, we tend to have pretty good cigars around here. Uh, Dan has an in with the cigar uh, place. It's, uh, what's the name of that cigar shop you go to? World Class Cigars. World Class Cigars on in Wadsworth. Wheat Ridge, Colorado. So that's where we're from. We're from uh, Denver, Wheat Ridge, and um, this area, middle of December, and it's about 60 days, degrees so. outside, I guess. 60 degrees, no <laughs> snow. We haven't gotten any snow yet this season, and uh, we come down and smoke cigars, what, how often? A couple Keith, times this is, a week. This is Keith's place here. He's been nice enough to let us come down here for years. 
So finally we decided to go ahead and do a, a little bit of a cigar test, I guess. So far, what do you think, Dan? So far, so good. I've got a little different burn on it. It's not burning evenly, but uh, there's still lots of smoke. I'm gonna. Yeah, I guess mine's starting to do the same thing. It's got a little bit of a of a crooked crooked burn there. Mine started It'll out one sided, and now It'll it's straightened out. Straight so. out. <laughs> I'm doing good on this end. All right, here's uh, Pasquale's burn. He's, yeah, uh, I got a little split in the tip of this burn. I don't know what's going on there. It's probably this long filler is... Uh, is long fibers are splitting. It's starting it to split out burns. at the end. I've never really seen that. It's burning a little bit crooked um, around there. I don't know how these guys are doing. My cigar's burning a little uneven, but the taste is still really good. Yeah, uh, there's no doubt the taste is good. I, I'm not having any It's still burning a little that. uneven. Trying to um, straighten that out. Right now I'm kind of getting a... This one's doing just fine. A little flavor at the back of my throat, maybe like a little peppery flavor. All right, well, I'm the third of the way down on my scar. I'm going to take the band off here, give it a good uh, pinch on it, and it rolled really nice, soft, easy draw, well-made cigar. We'll probably have a little cigar ash contest, see who's going to last the longest. Pasquale. Yeah, so um, mine's still burning pretty good. It tastes real nice. Um, that ash is still split there at the top. We're going to go ahead and keep burning these things down and see how long we can keep these ashes going. Again, um, mine feels like it's a, it's a pretty, soft. pretty soft, soft, and it's got a real nice draw to it. The, the flavor is real nice in my mouth. Mm, tastes kind of woody now. Um, before it was a little bit peppery, but now I'm getting a little bit of a wood kind of flavor to it. Uh, what do you think of yours, Dan? I'm getting a little wood flavor. It's still burning a little crooked. My cigar is really tight. It's uh, real hard uh, compared to theirs. Theirs is real soft. Mine's real hard. And it's still burning crooked, but the ash is holding perfect. We'll see how long we can hold on to that ash. And the, uh, the taste is getting better. Uh, there's a woodsy taste in it, and it's tasting pretty good. Okay, I'm halfway through here, and uh, this ash is holding its own. It's doing a real good job showing how well it's rolled. And uh, I think I'm going to lose it pretty soon in my lap. So How's that tasting? Is it any, it's, any good? Is it Oh, it's a great junkie taste. Junkie cigar? What do you got? Yep, I uh, have that woodsy feel, kind of soft leather or flavorful leather draws real nice I really like the cigar it's starting to burn real straight um, still has that kind of a still have that split, split ash up top kind of got a little split going on but it doesn't bother me any um, smokes real nice the flavors pretty uh, I think it's kind of kind of mellow um, this was supposed to be kind of a full flavored cigar and it tastes, uh, like he said, a little leathery, some wood maybe. I had a little bit of uh, pepper earlier. Uh, but it's uh, really starting to smoke more consistently now. How my, about you, Dan? My ash is getting a little crooked here. The taste is starting to change a little bit. More flavor in the cigar. Uh, the burn is still crooked. Don't know why. But the ash is crooked I think I'm about ready to lose it but I'm gonna hold it till it falls off all right well I'm down to uh, almost the end here it's been a good 50 minute burn they're a good hour and a half cigars Pasquale and I both agree that it's kind of a peppery flavor at this point I do and his ash is still look hanging in there look That's at that how well, ash how long that ash is how well it's um, I've been holding it up trying to baby it but, uh, I mean, you can see that that thing is just, I'm not going to hit it or anything, but heck, that's uh, really a nice, a nice ash. This thing's lasting forever. Um, again, the, the flavor's real nice, a uh, little peppery um, here at the end. Uh, a little bit of maybe some cedar in there, I don't know, eh, tastes like that, but 
Very Not enjoyable. Smoke. Real, real nice cigar. I think it's a peppery uh, taste. It's still a lot of smoke. It's not hot uh, this far down. It's not burning hot at all. Uh, would you pay thirty-three dollars for this cigar? I definitely would. How about you? You know, I would. I would buy this cigar uh, for a special occasion. If you have a, a great grandchild born, as Dan did this Thank last you. weekend, congratulations! Thank you. Thank you. I put Thank that you. in there for you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, great grandfather for the first time. Um, how about you? Would you? Uh, yes, I'd uh, definitely have it for a Christmas cigar or other occasions. It's very uh, pleasurable. So join us next time. We're going to be reviewing a uh, ESG. Um, that's an Ashton cigar, uh, a Robusto. So if you guys uh, want to go to the cigar store and, and pick one up, uh, you can smoke along with us and see what you think. Again, it's uh, three cigars. It's different than uh, most everybody else's uh, single cigar. They they smoke it and tell you what they think, and this is three different uh, three different opinions. And we got three different cigars here. One's packed pretty tight. These two are pretty soft. Uh, the flavors are all real good. And I would suspect that they're probably all similar in flavor. Um, they've been a great cigar. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining the Three Stogies. See you next time. <laughs>